time for my 73rd John Carpenter game. What's the millionaire, the Australian first edition for the DVD? Say, fancy another go at winning the million? Okay, best of luck. Let's play. Okay, for $100, here's question okay. number one. As we wanted to climb my efforts, George Brown Fantasy replied, because it's there, the highest, the challenge, said, because it's there. Nice one. It's the correct answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth $200. Which Russian space station was launched in 1986? Mir, Mer, Ma, Mo. That'd be Mir. That's the right answer. It's going well so far. Okay. Have a look at question number three. It's worth $200. Okay, it's the correct answer. False privilege by Patrick Dahl described as Swiss courage, French courage, Dutch courage, Italian courage. Maybe Dutch courage. No problems there, it's correct. Remember a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. Yeah. Australian character Dame in the Average creates our audiences as possums, kangaroos, kidnas, maybe possums. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Humphrey was an alright ride as Dave Medna on talk shows. <laughs> Get the next question correct and you will leave with at least a thousand dollars. Good luck. Here comes question number five. A soul light is part of literally held at which time of day? Lunchtime, morning, evening, afternoon, deputy evening. Milestone, that's $1,000. Have a look at question 6. It could double your money for $2,000. The acronym ASIC, ACIC, stands for Australian Securities and Investments 1. Commission, Cooperative, Company. That'd be um, Commission. And similar to the you know, SEC in America. The, um, oh, the SEC is actually. Here comes the question. Seven out of a possible fifteen. It's worth four thousand dollars. Good luck. Which season in Australia usually consists of the fewest number of days? Autumn, spring, summer. It should be summer because it's in February as well. Because February Absolutely. is summer in Australia. It's winter in the um, northern hemisphere. Okay, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to $8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. U.S. novelist John Galsworthy wrote the sequence known as the What Saga. Foresight, Foster, Forster, Forsyth. That'd be Foresight Saga. Yeah. Question is so question the um, UK first edition PC game, I think. It's never around who wrote the Forsyth saga, which is John Gall's one. The jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible $16,000. Who is the author of the novel Hannibal? Thomas Harrison? Thomas Harris? Harris Thomas? Harris It'd be Thomas Harris. Thomas. Wonderful. It's the right answer. There's a similar question that's getting right about Gerald Ford, Harrison Ford, uh, Benjamin Harrison, William Harrison. Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose $15,000. Get it right and you win $32,000 guaranteed. <laughs> the People's Daily is the mouthpiece for the Communist Party of which country? North Korea. Laos. China, Vietnam. China. Well played. That's a, I think that's a new one. All the John Carter. That's a new one. 
I was thinking it's the people's uh, public park, the people's kindness park. I was thinking of. I mean, couldn't think it was North Korea because North Korea has pretty strict uh, freedom of speech, I believe. Richard number 11 is worth $64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 <laughs> even if you get it wrong. Let's hope you don't. Okay. Tennis star Andre Agassi's father represented which country in Olympic wrestling? Iran, France, Italy, That'd be, um, Turkey. um, male Agassi who represented Iran in Olympic boxing, not wrestling. Well played. You're absolutely right. <sighs> the next question is worth a whopping one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. It's number twelve or fifteen. Take your time. It's a lot of money. Okay. Sabina is the national carrier of which European country? Sweden, Belgium, Denmark. Thank the Lord, it's thousand five. It's not a public game. Has a question like that? It's Belgium. Yeah. I think it's same volume. I think one twenty five actually. Right now, just relax and take your time. The next question is number thirteen of a possible fifteen. If you answer and you're wrong, you will drop back to fifty two thousand dollars. Here's the question for a quarter of a million dollars. Which 20th century Russian leader made the Moscow Kremlin the center of Soviet government? Stalin, Lenin, Khrushchev, Lenin. Lenin. One wonderful question. It's the right answer. <sighs> this is getting very, very serious. You are only two correct answers away from winning one million dollars. But if you give me a wrong answer here, okay. you will lose two hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. Have a look at question number fourteen and think very carefully about what you want to do. Okay. A notorious radioactive element present in nuclear fallout is the isotope strontium what? Sixty? Ninety? Forty? That'd be a strong 1090. Same for this that's one. Right 1924. Big at the Winter Olympics one. Fantastic! You've played a brilliant game so far and now have $500,000. But we would really like to give you $1 million. Take as long as you need. Here comes. The one Pit. million dollar question. The Australian Atomic Energy Commission was established in which year? 1953, 1946, 1949. It'd be um, 1953. Uh. You could have walked away with half a million dollars. Instead, You'll be walking away with one million dollars! That's the right answer! Fantastic! What a tremendous game! All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done! You are a virtual millionaire! Well done, and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? <sighs> Nice watching.